telling you guys all of my favorite tips and tricks on how to look taller in your pictures and how to look cuter. All of my favorite tips and tricks, they've been a secret till now. I guess I will be exposing how to be a bad bitch or whatever. Personally, I don't think my pictures are like immaculate, but like they're cute. If you guys don't know, I'm literally 5'1". I'm so tiny, but in my pictures, I make myself look really tall. And so I feel like I have a little credibility on like how to make yourself look taller. That being said, let's just get into it. Number one, I think it's really important important that when you take your photos you gotta get it at the perfect angle if you take the photo from too high you can look really small what is that but if you take it from really low you'll look tall but like in terms of ig photos personally i prefer when the person taking my photo is taking it from chest level like my chest doesn't matter if the person taking your photo is tall or short as long as they know that the camera should be where your chest is i swear the picture always turns out good back then it was like really popular to take photos from like really low and like show your entire view and i think those pictures are cool but in terms of how photos are trending at the moment they're more so like the ones where it's like leveled here where you can look tall but still up close and not so far like a scenic photo if that makes sense another tip i have for when you're taking photos is to make sure your posture is good if you're taking photos and you're like slumped it doesn't look as like flattering i feel like and doing this would just make you look really tiny but like if you're opened up your shoulders are up front your back is straight then i feel like it makes you look look taller it makes you look more confident i just think it's more flattering when you have like good posture another thing i feel like really helps when you're taking photos is to have the person take a photo of you further and then you yourself can crop it to be closer sometimes if you take the photo from too up close you look kind of small it's too close you know but you take it from further and then you can just zoom in that's what i've been doing recently i'm obsessed with it i think it looks way better and i can crop it however i like so poses personally i feel like i do not know how to pose i know to a certain amount where it's decent i wish i could be a little bit more experimental but that being said some poses that i think really help is you know some of the ones that we've all kind of grown up hearing where you're like standing in one leg in front of the other that's obviously like a really safe way to go it makes you look taller and also looks really flattering in photos besides having your toes being just up front it also looks really flattering to have one of your feet not just facing straight but like towards a corner but also practicing in front of a mirror that is so important it helps you know what angles of your face look more flattering like for me, I know that my good angle is either up front or from the very side This half angle thing, personally not my favorite My jawline looks not as sharp So look in the mirror, see what you think looks the most flattering Other poses I really like to do are the ones where I'm sitting Whether I'm eating food or something For these sitting photos, make sure that your hands are not just next to you Do something with them A lot of times I like to hold food Or I just put my arms anywhere else but the side of my body I think the most important thing for photos when you're sitting Is to make sure that you're using up most of the frame space you don't want too much empty space or it's gonna look kind of awkward another pose i've been really liking is the ones where you're showing off your hair when i run out of posing ideas i love this one because it's like really aesthetic and it shows your waist and your booty so yeah these are two poses that i've been really loving and they're just really safe options as well and then in terms of your body when you're taking a photo i think it's really important to know your body is posing besides just your face and so when i take a photo i don't just pose I suck in my stomach. I try to push my butt out like I do things to make a photo look more complex than just standing there This looks different than like this, you know, like when you're actually putting your body to work When you're taking photos, you gotta work it. So yeah practice in front of a mirror See what you think looks good and you know, like work your angles Honestly, I learned a lot of my tips and tricks from America's Next Top Model Tyra Banks I think the thing I learned the most from them was confidence which is my next point i think when you're taking photos it's really important to be confident i feel like confidence is something that always shows through the photo it's something that people see and that confidence in my opinion is how i got support online or like followers and things like that because i'm just being myself and i'm just comfortable with myself and i'm happy with myself and that's how like you project this thing of like oh like she got her shit together project confidence and if you guys feel like that's something you guys have to work on i believe in faking it till you make it even if you feel like you're not that confident yet and you're still like learning to be fake it just like try your best step out of your comfort zone pretend that you're the baddest bitch on this planet so once you practice that and you keep faking it till you make it one day you're gonna believe it that's how i did it every time i have any type of insecurity when i take my pictures i literally pretend that nothing matters i don't got a single insecurity and like i'm literally so happy with myself that's how i just like you know became this baddie on the internet all right guys so this part of the video is sponsored by warby parker and if you guys don't know what warby parker 
Parker is. Warby Parker is an eyewear company. I talk about them all the time because they have the cutest frames and they're such good quality. So Warby Parker offers eyeglasses, sunglasses, prescription lenses, and they even offer eye exams. And they offer really good vision care whether that's online or in store. If you guys don't know what frame you guys want from them, they have a free home try-on kit where you guys can literally order five glasses for free. It literally ships to you. You get five glasses and you keep them for five days. And after five days, you literally have no obligation to buy. And they give you a free shipping label to return it back. So I think that's amazing. Their glasses start at literally $95 and that includes prescription lenses as well. Personally, my glasses are from Warby Parker and it's amazing because they even offer blue light lenses. Here's one I have. Yeah. This one is so freaking cute. I'm a huge fan of frames that are gold and really thin. So these are freaking cute. And I have these ones too. Oh my God. Wait, wait. <gasps> these are so freaking cute. I am obsessed. And these. <laughs> I just look so good in glasses. So don't let your FSA or HSA dollars go to waste. Put them to good use and check out Warby Parker. So yeah, make sure you guys check out the Warby Parker free at home try on kit. It is so freaking amazing and helpful. Helps you know what frames you guys want, you know? So try five glasses for free at warbyparker.com slash sandy. Check it out so you guys can get new glasses. Another thing that's really important when it comes to taking really cute photos is setting. On top of that, setting is really important too when it comes to making yourself look taller because you never want to take photos next to something that gives the illusion that, oh, she's only that tall. When it comes to photos, I personally, you know, I like creating the illusion that like I'm a tall baddie even though I'm literally like 5'1". Probably 5 feet, but I tell people 5'1". Who doesn't add an inch to their height? Some things, for example, I don't like taking photos next to a pole. A pole that is like big. Personally, I really like taking photos where there's like a landscape or like an area that has really nice colors or sometimes I just take photos at night because it's literally just like pitch black and when I do flash photos, it literally just focuses on me and personally, I love flash photos those are some of my favorites i feel like whenever i get the best pictures is when i use flash but another thing that really helps is doing your research finding some inspiration pinterest and we heart it and google will literally be your bestie or tiktok because some people be baddies and they be taking photos in the cutest places and you just see and you're like i kind of want to try that do your research if you guys don't know where to take photos try to recreate it that's what i like to do too another thing that i think is so important is what you wear for me personally pants that are not too loose make me look taller i am a huge fan of the ones that are like you know tight here and then they kind of open at the bottom like those wide leg ones i feel like those make me look so tall and so i really like those heels obviously that is one that everybody knows personally i think skirts that are shorter like if you're small like me and you wear a skirt that is kind of long and it goes to your knees it just makes your leg length look smaller i think skirts that are higher show more of your leg and so it makes you look like you have more length to your leg personally i think they're cuter in pictures anyways but that's that's just my style but also wearing skirts that are also lower under the belly button personally i think those make me look taller because it also creates the illusion that my torso is longer i have a really small torso like this is me if i wear a crop top that's like here it creates the illusion that my torso is just not as long but if i wear a crop top that is up here then it gives me more stomach space and then for me i love the combination of a really short crop top and a really short like low rise skirt because then you just see my whole stomach and and I've been loving to do that recently because it makes me look so tall. That's just my preference. Another thing I think is so important is makeup. If your makeup looks good, you feel good. It's kind of important to have kind of presentable makeup in my opinion. I like to do makeup where my skin looks clear. And it helps to just look on Pinterest as well or Instagram or We Hearted to see what makeup is trending right now. Or what makeup you feel confident in and looks good to you. Something I like to do for my makeup is whatever I want to have be shown in the picture more i basically add to my face more i love blush and so i kind of go ham with it and like if you see me in person you'll see that i have hella blush on but in my photos it doesn't look like a lot for some reason i feel like cameras don't capture makeup that well i kind of go ham with my nose contour because i want it to show so another trick i have for taking your photo to the next level is accessorizing you'll be surprised how much just adding jewelry can do for your look literally just simple earrings necklaces or rings or something just try it guys just try it it adds to a look it makes you look like you tried and also purses i like purses because it's another thing to add to a photo personally my favorite thing to use for accessorizing as of recently have been sleeves or leg warmers i freaking love them they add so much to a photo surprisingly i've added leg warmers to my arms and i just love that look yeah accessorizing surprisingly can take your photo to the next level 
Personally, I don't usually take photos in direct lighting because sometimes direct lighting makes your skin look super bright and like washed out. So I think a good time to take photos is right after the sun has hit its peak. Right before the sun is literally gone. I think that's like the perfect time. I like taking photos in shadows rather than in the sun directly. You gotta be really picky about your shadows as well because sometimes if you take photos in the wrong kind of shadow, it can make you look extremely gray and extremely washed out so it really depends like how i would describe a good place to take photos is like if the sun is right here i take my photo right here where the sun is not hitting but it's right there because if you take it too far from the sun where there's like a building you're gonna look extremely washed out and extremely dark so yeah that's how i would describe it anyways i think those are probably my biggest tips and tricks on how to look taller in your photo but that being said i also am going to show you guys how i like to edit my photos and so you guys can see okay so we're going to be editing this photo here and i'll just just like keep it on the side here this is how i basically catfish the internet i'm gonna expose myself but honestly i don't care because as long as i get my bills paid i'm gonna do whatever i want to my photo and it's on period so what i like to do to make myself look taller right away is click edit on that corner and i go to this here to crop it so i usually like to add a little bit more height to me so i add maybe plus two or plus three at the bottom here and then i like to crop my photo so I like showing my whole body and I like putting grid on my photo so that that top line is kind of aligned to like my upper lip or sometimes my lip or sometimes even my nose. For this photo, I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more because as you guys can see, there's a little bit more space on that right side. So I zoom in and I kind of push it. There we go. It is currently aligned with literally the middle of my lip. That is how I crop it. And then we're gonna go to the app May2. It is literally my favorite editing app. It's so good. So now we're on here. I click beautify and then I like to go to reshape. I like to make my face look slightly skinnier. So I go about 20 as well. And then I go to ratio. My forehead, I feel like it's kind of small, um, weird flex or whatever, but I like to make it longer. So I, I go about negative like 10 or 12 for that to make my face look slightly longer and it creates the illusion that my chin is also kind of skinnier too so that is how i kind of adjust my face and that's how i think i look cuter but you know that's that then we're gonna go to slim and this is how i like to photoshop my body personally i deal with the insecurity of very very low boobs i like to push my boobs up and i know this is weird to y'all but it's just one of those insecurities I have. And then I also kind of make my stomach look kind of skinnier. Um, I like that snatch waist look. Another thing I do is add makeup. I really like to add blush, so I click on makeup, contour, and then blush. And then I click the one that says drunk. I think that one is so cute. That's my favorite filter to use. So I'll go maybe like 25 or so. Another thing I like to do is click body shape. Now this can make your body look so tall and it's typically used for your legs and stuff. I like to use it on my neck. You know, us short girls, we don't have the longest body parts. And so I up this about two. And then I also go to my torso and up that about three. And so, all right, this is the after, but this is the before. Y'all see that? Anyways, that's just what I do to Photoshop my body. We're gonna save that because we're not done. I do a lot for my photos and to be honest, it takes forever to edit. Now we're on to Facetune and the last thing I like to do is click smooth and then I just soften my skin. As you guys can tell, I clearly have texture on my skin. What human doesn't? Go all over my cheeks. I go right in between my eyebrows and on my forehead. I kind of go on top of my eyelids too because I have texture everywhere on my skin. I up that about 60. Then I go to whiten and I add a little highlighter, even though my highlighter low-key already popping. I add that about 20, and then I also whiten my pupils. I feel like Instagram, the trend right now, is just like adding to your features, and so just making things pop looks really good. I did that about 30, and then you go to touch up. I'm almost done. And then I like to click eyes, and I go about 30. That's like adding detail to your eye and making it seem a little bit more like you can see the eyes, you know, the pupils, the lashes, the details. Sometimes when you take a photo, it could look blurry around there. So when you do that, it just makes your eyes just seem more popping, you know? Now I go to Visco. So on Visco, this is how I like to edit my photo. It's, it's chef's kiss. So I like to turn my exposure down three. Surprisingly, because I used to turn that shit up all the way. And then I like to add about saturation to 
for this photo, I'm gonna go to 0.2. Then I like to sharpen my photo by 1.5. I think it just adds more detail. And that is how I edit my photos. What do you guys think? Yes, I'm a catfish. Been told y'all. I think the biggest change in my photos is probably smoothing my skin and lifting my boobs. Because I was literally... I don't got saggy boobs, but I got low boobs. My boobs are down here. And like, I feel like boobs are supposed to be up here. But my boobs are down here. So I just naturally have very low boobs. But yeah, guys, here we go. That was me exposing myself and how I edit my pictures, how I make myself look taller, how I get my photo to look the way I want it to look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you guys learned something at the end of the day i think it's so important to just be confident and express your confidence to your photos and do whatever it takes to make you feel like a bad bitch because honestly who gives a fuck just do you that being said make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys haven't already like comment and subscribe let me know what other videos you guys would like to see for me that being said i'll see you guys next time bye Mwah.